Hi, in this video I'll go over with you how to use the binomial PDF function to find probabilities of individual x values for a binomial random variable. In this example, x represents the number of free throws made by a basketball player when given three attempts. And p of x is the probability associated with each of these outcomes. Let's suppose for just a minute that we don't know what these probabilities are. Where do they come from? Suppose all you're given is that x is a binomial random variable with n equals 3 trials and probability of success on any given trial is 0.8. So this basketball player's record indicates that he hits 80% of his shots. We're going to give him 3 tries and we're going to see how many he makes. He's either going to miss them all, in which case x is 0, He's going to make them all, in which case x is 3, or he's going to make one, or he's going to make two of them. This we know for sure. Now, to use the binomial PDF to calculate these probabilities, we're going to go to uh, second vars for distributions and scroll down to binomial PDF. So let's do that now. So, I almost went to stat. We go there so often. Second, distributions. Scroll down till you find binomial PDF. There it is. Press enter. And at the moment we're operating in classic mode. So the open parenthesis appears. We need to type in 3, comma, 0.8, comma, and then to find the probability that x equals 0, we'll type 0 and close the parentheses and press enter. And there we've got it. The probability that x equals 0 is 0 0.008. The general form for this function is binomial pdf npx. n is the number of trials, p is the probability of success on any given trial, and x is the number of successes that you're looking for the probability of at the moment. So there's the first entry in the table. Let's switch over to, um, well, let's do one more. Let's do second distributions, go down to binomial PDF again. There it is. And we press 3 comma, 0.8, comma, and I'll go for the probability that x equals 2 this time, just to do a different one. Press enter, and there it is. The probability that x equals 2 is 0.384, as seen in the table. So you can find any individual x values probability. One more trick. Let's go back to second distributions one more time. Down to binomial probability. Binomial PDF. And let's only enter the 3 comma 0.8. Let's close the parenthesis early and not specify a particular x value. Hit enter and you'll notice it gives all the probabilities of each x value. 0 0.008, 0 0.096, 0 0.384, and last but not least, scrolling to the right, we can pick up the 0.512. So they're all there. Okay. Now, I'm going to switch over to math type mode with stat wizards on and show you that the, the menu is just a little bit different. So mode, stat wizards are on, math type is on. Now, second distributions, scrolling down to find binomial PDF, there it is, and see this time we get a menu. The number of trials means the number of attempts. Back up in the original problem, remember that we're given three attempts. The player is given three attempts. And P, probability of success on any trial, is going to be 0 
Okay, so remember that. So we have to put in 3 for trials, 0.8 for P. And if you want the probability of a particular X value, you can type it in. Let's type in 1. Go to Paste, hit Enter, and it's set up to do it. If we scroll back over, we can pick up on the first part of the word, a binomial. Okay, binomial PDF 3.81, hit Enter. And so, probability that x equals 1 is 0 0.096. Um, I guess I had a 0 here on the handout. Um, another trick you can do is um, second function entry, and you can just back up and put in a different x value there. Hit Enter. And there you go. Probability x equals 0 is 0 0.008. So we saw that already. Okay, last but not least, if I go back into distributions and go down to binomial PDF, and this time if I leave X value cleared out with nothing there and hit paste. Okay, that's what it's going to do. Okay, it's going to give us all of the probabilities. So just like that, binomial PDF 3.8, it gives all the probabilities. You do have to scroll to the right to pick up the last one there. There it is, 0.512. All right, well, I hope this has been helpful. This is how to find individual x values probabilities with a binomial random variable. This concludes this video.